Millions of dollars worth of cocaine fell from the sky this morning in Knoxville, Tennessee. There's more of this out there. They dumped it somewhere. I'm looking for my daughter. Forest is a dangerous place. Hey, Henry, check it out. Something got into it. A deer, maybe. A lot of cocaine was lost. I need you to go and get it. No, 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 don't eat that, don't eat that. Let's see what kind of effect that has on you. The bear, it fucking did cocaine. A bear did cocaine. Hello and welcome to this What Do You Want to Watch spoiler cast for Cocaine Bear. I'm your host, Ash Hubbley. Joining me today, Dylan Blight. Freshly squeezed, Dylan Blight. <laughs> what? Why are you freshly squeezed? Because this movie is an AEW tie-in. Is Cocaine Bear going to show up on Dynamite? <laughs> Maybe. It'd be a good... <laughs> <laughs> that would be an announcement people care about, am I right? Pac versus Cocaine Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Can the bastard take him down? <laughs> Death Triangle versus <laughs> Cocaine Bear, Orange Cassidy, and Dan House. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, so Cocaine Bear currently playing in cinemas uh it's a film everybody's been kind of anticipating <laughs> because it's a bear about a bear on cocaine so yeah uh if you haven't watched it uh please be aware we'll be freely discussing everything and anything about the plot themes and any of the film so if you haven't watched it yes come back later with that said let's just jump straight into our discussion of cocaine bear directed by elizabeth banks Written by Jimmy Warden, starring Carrie Russell, O'Shea Jackson Jr., Christian Convery, Alden Einreich, Jesse Tyler Ferguson, Brooklyn Prince, Isaiah Whitlock Jr., Christopher Hivju, Hannah Hostra, Margot Martindale, Ray Liotta, Matthew Reese. After a 500-pound black bear consumes a significant amount of cocaine and bucks on a drug-fueled rampage, an eccentric gathering of cops, criminals, tourists, and teenagers assemble in a Georgia forest. Uh, so I've got a review up at explosionnet.com. I gave it an 8 out of 10 and said, Cocaine Bear understood the assignment. A delightful time filled with jokes, grisly deaths, and over-the-top crazy s- sequences, which do- doesn't as- overstay its welcome, wrapping up in 95 minutes. Well, it isn't going to win any awards or be a critical darling. This is the type of film people have been saying they want, and I hope many people go see how much of a good time it is. Yeah, so I had a really good time. Dylan, what did you think of Cocaine Bear? Oh yeah, this is this is this is cinema. <laughs> <laughs> I'm to put it bluntly, <laughs> in a world where I'm so sick of these drawn out like two and a half hour movies that have no need. Like it's not that I like long. It's not like I have anything against long movies. Babylon's long. Fantastic, highly underrated. Everyone should watch it. Um, then it's I just it's ninety minutes of fun, isn't it? On a big screen in yeah. an audience of everyone laughing at stupid people's arms getting ripped off while a bear snorts cocaine off it. Um, it's just it <laughs> it's it's everything that people tell me. So people tell me, oh man, like Sharknado is so good, it's dumb fun. No, Sharknado and all those stupid sci-fi movies are terrible because acting's terrible special effects terrible there's no like actual story they drive me up this, up the wall those movies that but for the people who love them my dad um and the way he talks about them this is sort of feels the, that um that he, that vibe the same thing it's nonsensical what happens in this movie <laughs> this, this bear just like running however fast and jumping into the ambulance and um uh, <laughs> to be like, clear just, <laughs> based on a true story there was a bear that ingested a bunch of cocaine that was dropped into a forest uh, because a, pl- a drug bust went sideways or whatever, uh, smuggling. The bear died. Yeah, straight away. For, like, straight away. Yeah. <laughs> so, But all, they were like, let's take that idea let's, and... Yeah. Um, what? If, let's know. have a what if. What if the bear had, was able to, you know... Not don't. I love the way it sets it up, though. It's it sets it up like based on true story, and gives you all these facts about bears, and then goes source Wikipedia. Yeah. So it should like, <laughs> like sort opinion. of tells you, sort of tells you what you're you're in for what at that expect. stage. I think. Yeah. Um. I mean, even right at the end of the movie, after bear is sort of brought back to life via cocaine, <laughs> and then it spits out the bullets. <laughs> as that it was comes such a subtle thing that I thought was hilarious. <laughs> 
that I'm sure so, like a heap of people just didn't notice, but it spit didn't out even the ball. notice. But it literally just spits the bullets out. So, <laughs> which makes absolutely no sense. Of course, it doesn't matter. It's it's great. But it's, there's a lot of one second quick gags in this, which. Like, I think the earliest one I got that just made me chuckle for some reason because I like how they didn't stay on it or anything. It was just the, the easiest gag of right when the that stupid, um, I don't know, the park ranger and the the girl, the guy comes in who's like the animal ranger or whatever they are, and he like right before they cut away to another character as he walks up to the bench. He goes, oh, you got a dusty beaver over here. And then she's <laughs> like, yeah, I'm trying to fix that. And then just cuts to another scene. I'm like, that is such a <laughs> stupid joke. That, that, that was a uh, great joke. But it doesn't hang on any of them. So, um, yeah, I mean, the, the good thing is it's the perfect mix of you have all these silly performances, but people playing it so serious. Or not serious to a degree, but serious but enough that ser- it makes the movie yeah, work. Yeah, they're in on the joke. They're in on the joke, which makes the movie work. And then you have the combination of just really good kills combined with really dumb horror and one-liners and stuff. Like in, that line from the trailer just still made me made me chuckle even when I saw it in the movie where that kid's like, it's the kind of thing that stays with a man. <laughs> 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 it's just, it was, it was so up. dumb. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, it was like, that's fucked up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's so many funny things in this movie, yeah. Uh, oh, there's some, when the park ranger just, like, opened the door and he's like, there's a fucking bear! And then she just blows his head off. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many, like, just silly things oh, in this movie. Man. Yeah, I, 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 I would agree. I would probably give this, like, an eight, like you. So, um, yeah, v- very good time. Yeah, um, really delightful. I I think they the um, the like group of characters was solid. I don't think anyone is particularly memorable or uh, like I'm sh- like you 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 just came out of the cinema. I'm sure you can't name any of <laughs> the people. Oh, you got Ice Cube, Son, Han Solo, Young, um, girl from the Rise of Skywalker. Um, yep. My point exactly, um, <laughs> <laughs> but you know that we had a great time with all of them. Like I really enjoyed like the relationship between Arden Einreich's Alden Einreich's uh, character and uh, O'Shea J- Jackson Jr.'s characters, and like their bond. Uh, obviously, old friends and Alden's characters like mourning his dead wife, um, yeah. but having to be pulled into this crazy situation. Um, because he's the son of Ray Liotta. He is the son of Ray Liotta, rest in peace. Um, yeah. Part of me is upset that there will be other performances by Ray Liotta to come out after this. Yeah, I thought this was supposed to be the last one, but then I looked up and saw there's actually other things, so it's sort of annoying. Because, man, what a way to go out. <laughs> yeah. Ripped apart by Bear. I feel like that's the way he would want to go. You know? <laughs> I feel like I feel like they should cancel the other movies, because this is <laughs> yeah. the way he would want to be that's remembered. Like you know? yeah, yeah. His, his intestines being eaten by little baby bears. Uh, like spaghetti, um. But yeah, uh, Margot Martindale is the ranger. A lot of fun. Um, <laughs> just yeah, her trying, her like trying to pick up Jesse Tyler Focus, <laughs> um, wearing expensive makeup and, and perfume and shit. Uh, yeah. just throwing the other kid under the bus when she was smoking. And <laughs> be uh, smoking that that kills animals. <laughs> yeah, it's like. It's fucking bad. <laughs> and just to her, like, the, like, her, like, butt just completely ripped open by this bear. <laughs> she, she walked, walked ages. But you gotta remember the, the distance they walked from that place up there, and then she walks <laughs> all the way back. Like, for, it took me a second, I'm like, lady, that I don't know if that's, <laughs> like, I don't know if that was. Uh, and then uh, the, uh, the clear highlight is the ambulance sequence. Right from when they arrive, uh, <laughs> you know, op- struggling to open the door because there's a dead body wedge behind them, uh, uh, you know, through to him opening the door, uh, old Ikea mate, uh, trying to open the door, um, opening the Holy door. Holy shit, is that actually him? Yeah. Oh my God, that's why I recognized him. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Yeah. No, I didn't know, but that makes sense. I was staring at him all the time going... It Where do I know like you I from? Know this too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, finding a decapitated body and a bear in a cupboard. Uh, 
and then being pinned down by the bear. Uh, sh- no way you would be able to hop. That would crush you, like, straight away, probably. I'm surprised. The door? Yeah. With a bear on it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, pretty sure. Uh, but my favorite, like, Margot Martindale, she's got the stethoscope on her chest, and she slowly lifts it up to her, fa- to her mouth and says, Bear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she freaks out. Oh, man. And then, yeah, chasing that ambulance down. Incredible. And then the way they all die. Hilariously gruesome. <laughs> Especially Martin, Mar- Margaret Martindale on the stretcher. Face. He just hits the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, just gets trying to think who else has died that sort of way. I feel like. I mean, I'm sure people have had that stuff happen in the movies, but. Yeah. yeah. Brutal. <laughs> um, I did also enjoy the weird, like, punk trio, even though they don't show around very long. It was like Ashes in the 80s or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it is set in the, what, 1975, I want to say off the top of my head. It's set, yeah, something. Long time ago. Uh, but yeah, O'Shea just taking them all out and just being very upset that he got stabbed in the back. Yeah. Very rush for him, this movie. Um, yeah. Yeah, I want to point out, like, I don't know how he lost those two fingers. That's pretty, like, pretty crazy. <laughs> it was a pretty crazy gunshot. <laughs> <laughs> like how that dude is just like, how do you even lose those two fingers? They're not even next to one another. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, and can we call the, a truce so I can get my friend's fingers? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then the bear coming and lying down on Alden. <laughs> Crazy. Um, I will say the the film does like struggle because it kind of does peak a little early with that. Yeah, I figured uh, they don't know how to end this. <laughs> they, they're like, how the fuck do we end this movie? And that's like, the one thing you can tell. Yeah, it's like they pitch the story right up to that sequence. They yeah. were laughing and like, oh shit. Yeah. Where do we go from This here? is a problem a lot of really good concept movies have, which is how do you end it? Like, how do you, especially when you have your, your big sequence at, at around that, you know, mid, just past mid sequence, you have this big thing and then it's like, how do, how do you end the movie? So I wouldn't say it's like a terrible ending, but it definitely is. You, you're a little definitely bit, not you are a little cool. bit like, I feel like it, the rest of it. It also ending at like nighttime is kind of a. Mm, because all the, we've been able to see everything before that, yeah. like, really well. Uh, I will say props to the visual effects team, because the bear looks amazing. Yeah, I thought the bear looked really good, too, so... Like, you know, there's been some really big budget movies that have come out recently that have had visual effects yeah. that don't look as good as this. No, like, it, it doesn't look as good as Revenant Bear, but it still looks pretty damn good. It looks pretty damn Especially good. for the budget of the movie and everything, so... Yeah, and the crazy things you want to get to do. <laughs> yeah. And none of it, like, the fact that... I, I think the tell sign to me is they have it do something highly unrealistic, like how fast it's running and jumping into the ambulance, but my brain just buys it because it still just looks accepts it. fine. <laughs> yeah, so rather than being like, oh, I'm watching a cartoon, so... Um, how good was... Also, shout-outs to Christopher, Christopher, whatever his name is, um, Game of Thrones dude as the tourist. <laughs> this tourist. <laughs> Yeah, I can't, don't know if the character actually had a name, but as the, the tourist. I'm so used to him playing, like, serious. Um, what the fuck is his name? Hold on. Uh, it's like Christopher something. Like Christopher Hivu. Hiv- yeah. Hivu. Yeah. Let's go with that. Most known for Tormund in Tormund. Game of Thrones, of course. Yeah. Or for being the, the guy in Fast and Furious 7. Yeah. 7. Seven. 8? Yeah. Bad, bad guy. Yeah. Yeah. Arsenal Fears 8, and then that one episode of The Witcher, um, <laughs> where he plays like a dude who grows horns or whatever. I mean, yeah, such a great opening to the movie of mm. like of them like in the the forest talking about all this random shit. Yeah. <laughs> Come across the bear, just looking at, it, and he's like, "I think we need to go. This thing is invented." Yeah, there's something. Wrong. Bear's there's just banging his head against it. the tree. Yeah. But every time she looks in the thing, it's just like it's fine or whatever. And then when he looks through the camera, it's fucking just like banging his head. Yeah, this is even to mention the opening of the movie where old mate just like 
how gr- that was fucking funny. But, um, <laughs> oh, my whole cinema laughed. <laughs> yeah, just like chucking those bags out, having the best time ever, <laughs> banging out to Orange Cassidy's theme song. And then you've got, he just bangs his head there, right? there, knocks himself the fuck out. <laughs> it's so good. It dies. Yeah, falls to falls death. Death. They're like, oh, the parachute for Nah. <laughs> my dude knocked himself the fuck out and fell out of the plane. He didn't like, pull the parachute. He didn't, he didn't pull the parachute. He didn't even try and pull the parachute. <laughs> oh, man. Very funny. Um, yeah, lots of lots of fun gags. I think, yeah. Not much else to say, you know? It was an enjoyable time. 95 minutes. Um, I did... In, there was, like, an in, interesting piece of filmmaking of the... Of Alden and O'Shea, like, in the car on the way to the forest. Like, the, the angles of that were shot, like, really interesting, where, obviously... Oh, where they framed... The, yeah. They frame, yeah, I can't, there's a name for it, but I can't remember. Yeah, the framing was quite interesting. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, so they're framed for half the frame, but the camera is, like, sort of offset, so... Yeah. The space to the left or right of them is, like, yeah. That's... I can't... There's an actual name for that, but... But, yeah. I thought that was interesting. Uh, Yeah. Also, shout out to Elizabeth Banks. <laughs> just, just wow, yeah. What a what was, going from. Uh, I got. It's just hey, the the person who directed the, the fucking uh, Charlie's Angels and one of the Pitch, Pitch Perfect, Perfect two. and Power, whatever Pitch Perfect two and Power Rangers. What's their next? She movie? didn't direct Power uh, Rangers. Oh no, start uh, start as the fucking bad guy or whatever. But, yeah, you know, like you know. Effie and Hunger Games. What's that person up to? Oh, they're directing a movie called Cocaine Bear. It's just so sort of left field, but yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm here for it, you know? Yeah. But very excited uh, to see And again. Cocaine Bear will return, so. See, I'm, I'm, I'm down for Cocaine Bears. Yeah, you Cocaine know? Bears with the Cubs. Because obviously they've built, they've, they've kind of bit, built a habit for it. Yeah. So now what they, they're going to do, the sequel is simply they're wandering out of the forest into t- the local town looking for cocaine. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it writes itself. It, it really. writes itself. Yeah. It literally does. They're then, addicted. You know, they're, their stash is going to run out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You picture it now. Some drug deals going in the middle of an alley somewhere <laughs> and come the bears. <laughs> like, just... Oh, they should like pitch it like they're shooting like a superhero movie and then just bears. <laughs> Bears just attack. Superheroes are going to stop it. No, it's just bears going to kill them, take their stash. I would be super down for that, especially if it's set not long after this, because obviously, you know, it'd be cool if it's the little two cubs. Um, Fucking drug addicts. Quite adorable, even when they're like rolling around in cocaine. Yeah. Uh, like, the kids, like, they look like polar bears. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Covered in coke. Also, the kids, like, actually doing cocaine. Just yeah, shoveling it in the mouth. I don't know if that works or not. I don't know if that has any effect. I mean, I don't know, actually. I assume there's a reason that everyone snorts it. I don't know drug... Drug facts. Know, I'm not sh- facts, but I assume the reason everyone snorts it is because it gets straight into your bloodstream, whereas if you swallow it, it goes into your stomach, so it does nothing, right? I feel like that would make sense, right? Also, It doesn't get funny. into your blood system. <laughs> very funny, the, the, the thing starting with an anti-drug <laughs> campaign ad. I don't want. Is that do you reckon that? Fo- I didn't look it up. Was that I footage think it the is pulled? Like at least the, real the first footage? half, not yeah, the because the what bit where he pauses. Yeah, no, no. no. But yeah. like the the drug, the anti drug stuff is one hundred percent real. But then the the news footage, I thought was looked real too. I don't. I think that's probably made to. Look, yeah. Not from the the real story where the dude like fell out of the plane that it was based on. I mean, it'd be so much effort. It'd be so much easier. <laughs> I guess, yeah. You know? Um, but yeah. I was going to say something else. I can't remember. Cocaine Bears, come to a cinema in you, 2025. Cocaine, yeah, give us the Cocaine Bears. That's what we cocaine want. Cocaine Bears. We can ride it. It's easy. I mean, I mean the, the, the route, well, the, it's interesting. There was another story that broke about uh, a bunch of cocaine being dropped into the ocean. And it's like, cocaine sharks. It's like, mm. nah. I would prefer the bears at this point. Just give us more bears. The bears. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want spin-offs of other animals. As much yeah. as that, that that funny bit where the dude, like at the end with the drugs, puts up the sheep and then gets back out in the after post credit. <laughs> yeah, that was quite funny. Where he's like, uh, actually, no. <laughs> it's just, uh, I'm not yeah. going to take a chance. <laughs> I'm going to risk it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, Oh, I was going to say, like, the tension building scene of uh, the bear on the roof. And then you think it's coming down the chimney. Yeah. And then it's just poor comes flying through the window. (laughs) There's some solid jump scares in this. There is, yeah. Yeah, so. All balanced out perfectly with all the crazy action and the crazy, crazy jokes and humor. Uh, And him just standing on the gazebo trying to figure out how he's going to get down. I kind of hurt my hip getting up here. (laughs) Oh, and the betrayal of the other cop. Yeah, that was such a random, like, just... Eh. There was, like, really no reason to it, but it was fine. Yeah. All right, any other final thoughts on Cocaine Bear? That was a good time. Do Cocaine Bear. Do Cocaine Bear. Yep. All right, let us know what you thought of Cocaine Bear by going to explosion.com slash Twitter. Jump into our Discord at explosion.com slash Discord. If you want to help us out here at What Do You Want to Watch, leave us a review on Apple Podcasts or on Podchaser. Leave us five stars. Anyone can leave five stars. Just tell people about the show. Or head over to explosion.com. Uh, check out my review uh, or any of the other news reviews, uh, articles, podcasts we've got over at explosion.com. And if you've enjoyed this episode, thoughts worth a dollar, head over to our Kofi page at explosion.com slash support. Thank you very much for listening. Until next time, keep watching stuff like this. Apex Predator. Ah! High on cocaine. Ah! Out of his mind. Oh! oh man, you fucked. What the fuck is wrong with that bear? Shoot it, man! Bear straight up! You're higher, baby. And don't ever come down! We have such good luck in nature.